sick. The Eastern process, as we'll learn in, in, in uh, Poland, these were places where people were brought for the specific purpose of being annihilated. Um, Therese Schlapp endured about four years, went through the different phases. This was, first of all, a place of, it was a ghetto. Basically, for the Jews, it was a ghetto from where they would be later on shipped elsewhere. By the time they figured where they would be shipped, it came to the third phase of annihilation, and they were shipped to be annihilated. But that took place elsewhere. Nevertheless, over 30,000 Jews died in Theresienstadt. So what I'm saying, it's not a place of annihilation, but over 30,000 people died there because of the conditions, because of the uh, uh, circumstances. Hunger, disease, and at the end of the war, uh, a lot of typhus. At the beginning, when people died of hunger and disease, they were buried in the field here adjacent. After a while, what happened was that the uh, Nazis uh, realized that to, feel, to, to, to leave such a thing behind was too dangerous. Why dangerous? Because in the meantime, uh, what happened was that the Nazis came across a mass grave they came across a mass grave where the Russians killed over 22,000 Poles. And what the Nazis did out of this was a great propaganda. Look, what the, look who the Russians are, look who the Soviets are. And here comes a Nazi thought that, well, what happens if, if we lose the war and they come and uncover all these places where we have, so from 42 they started um, erasing traces by, by basically uh, cremating all the mass graves. And uh, a similar thing, a, a, a similar thing took place here. They created these crematoria, and anybody who died here was brought here to to be cremated. And they uncovered, they opened the graves, and they took the bodies and burned them. And later on, dumped the ashes in the in the river, so that from this point of view. Uh, no, no traces are left behind. Um, you can say, yeah, but yeah, you have this crematoria here. Yeah, so what does the crematoria show? I say that this is where they cremated Jews. Somebody says, well, no, this is, it's crematoria. It's just simply crematoria. Okay, nevertheless, so these are the, these are the crematoria that they had brought here when they realized that they must cremate those whom they killed. And they brought here people that died in the ghetto and also people that were killed in the fortress. All, all those, all the dead were brought over here, cremated, and then the ashes were uh, thrown in, in, into the river. So let's quickly just take a look.
body or sometimes two bodies. And then uh, you shove it in. Before this, they will take the body into this other room where they will go in. 